Hey my beautiful Aquarians, thank you for coming to my channel, my name is Kim Enchantress, I'm here to do your weekly reading from the 11th to the 17th of March 2019. Now the first card I am starting with is from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish and I love this deck, it's so beautifully illustrated. Now this is Freya and this week you've got abundance, peace and contentment coming into your life. So maybe this means um, that your integrity has led to healing and unity, which is, uh, gives you vast potential. Now this could be a surge of energy that brings um, ability to prop it or continual flow of energy be, to be invested. Being at one with who you are and destined to be, um, also it's about power to create good fortune for yourself. So it's about abundance and um, this could um, come lovingly to you, but very safe. So you can see results um, where you are. Wherever you are in the world, you'll get some results. Now, I have also pulled a, uh, some cards from the Enchanted Lenormand deck. And we have the Whip, which is about action. It's an action card. It's also about discussions. We have the Crossing, which is burdens and religion. We have the ship, which is about travel and movement. And we have the house, which is about family, homes, and your foundations. And so what this is telling me is there's been some sort of bumpy ride here, some difficult journey that you've been on. Now, some of you, um, it could be a trip, um, a physical trip, like a sporting trip. Um, it could also be with the crossing that you've had severe depression or feeling guilty about something. Now, some of you could have a home-based gym if you're into physical activity, working out, that type of thing. Or this could be domestic abuse at the home. So, but there's definitely problems with the journey um, this week. And for some of you, it could be trouble um, overseas. Some issues that you're having could be family troubles or domestic issues. Some of you could even be having problems with a house here. And there's a lot of burdens on you. This could also be a houseboat because it is involving travelling. Um, it could be immigration or some of you may be moving away this week. Now underneath the deck I have the letter, I have the key and I have the bear. So this is communication it could be documents, it could be um, news about money that's coming through, or it's with the bear in this, it's a, a strong worded letter. So it's something significant to you that you need to pay attention to. It could be of financial significance. It could be about protective karma, or it's telling you you've got a powerful destiny ahead of you this week. Now, I have pulled um, a card from the Angel Gu uh, Guidance deck. And for some of you this week, um, there's a new partner on the scene. So this could be a chance meeting and it's telling you it's no mistake. Now this is because we've got the key in here. This is the divine that's uh, doing this for you. And it's telling you the divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for you. So you're definitely going to start moving here with the ship. And uh, this is about fruition. You've been praying lately. So this is about things happening for you that you're praying for but it's saying to pay careful attention to new people we send into your life now you're going to be able to recognize them by um, a sense of familiar familiarity or um, you may feel comfortable and some comfort and safety around them and that's why the house is here because that's your safe haven so um, yeah so it's, it looks like there's some abundance and peace and contentment coming into your life after all these um headaches and quarrels and heated discussions now i've got a card here from the crystal deck which is the lapis lazuli and this is definitely about protection serenity power release and discrimination so um some of you um if you want to obtain this it's easily obtained from a new age shop and this is the deep blue flecked uh, crystal with um gold through it it comes in all sizes. Now I'm just going to read to you what the healing methods are here for you. So the lapis lazuli is especially potent for alleviating migraines, headaches, 
insomnia and vertigo and healing the respiratory system, nervous system, the throat, larynx and thyroid. Lapis cleanses the organs and bone marrow and strengthens the immune system. Now you've drawn this card this week here, Aquarius, because um, there's a need to exercise discrimination in all our dealings. It gives us the power to seek the underlying truth to the matter and brings things into light. So this is where the power is coming into this week with the bear. So if there's a strong word, a letter that's coming um, about discrimination of some kind, the divine is going to bring you chance, uh, new meetings with new people that are very comfortable and safe to be around. So that's a beautiful message here. Now I just want to pull an outcome card or extra messages just from the Animal Tarot deck. And this is by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I love these cards. They're beautiful. Beautiful illustrations. And I love the, um, the meanings of them too. So just want to uh, thank everybody for coming to my channel again just for guidance. I hope it's, it's helped you. Uh, but it's not going to be for every viewer out there. And I just want to thank all the newcomers. Um, welcome to the channel. Now, I have two cards that have fallen out for you. The first one is the tennis spring. So this is the St. 